Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about this low carbohydrate lifestyle type of thing. Actually, the ketogenic diet. I hate putting names on stuff because people become very confused, but it's the way you, we used to eat like a couple million years ago. Um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, a lot of people ask me, Steph, I feel like crap when I attempt to go into state of ketosis. Why do I feel so crappy and what do I do about it? Because a lot of people tend to give up once they feel so bad. So I've got two amazing remedies for this problem. So check this out. Just one second, okay? Boom! And check that stuff out. So awesome. Something as simple as salt and something as simple as virgin coconut oil which is an which is a medium chain triglyceride so these are my two little um, sort of secrets but not really because you can check it out on the net okay so the deal is here salt uh, what happens when you go into state of ketosis your body's trying to burn the last glycogen right so you take out your carbohydrates you lower them as much as you can I go around 15 grams per day, so then your body is just, if once you're starting the ketogenic diet, your body is trying to get rid of that glycogen, and with that, you're going to burn glycogen, break it down, and urinate a lot, well, you know, and you're going to lose a lot of sodium. This is one of the main reasons people feel so crappy, is because they don't have enough sodium. They also do not have enough magnesium. And, oh, let me show you one of my favorite brands for magnesium. Hold on, hold on. I swear I'll be right back. You see this? I love Mega Food, and I'm not trying to like rep any of these companies, but this brand is so awesomeness. I think it looks backwards. <laughs> it's called <laughs> it's magnesium. And uh, this is an essential mineral you need as well when you're in a state of ketosis when you're losing a lot of fluids and sodium as well as probably a good idea to have some greens in there I think so we need a nice like uh, vitamin K we need some K in there we need some magnesium and we need sodium so think about these minerals when going into state of ketosis or becoming keto adapted so you feel a little bit better. Also, people who have lethargy and feel a little bit tired, you want to take that coconut oil because it's a medium chain, which means it's shorter in structure. And so when your body digests the fat, it is easier to digest rather than a long chain fat, which is more difficult to actually use as energy. So an MCT, you can use MCT oil or you can use coconut oil. Another secret is a lot of people feel kind of like digestive distress when they eat coconut oil straight out of the jar. I don't, luckily. But um, a lot of people do, and so that's because your body is not used to just breaking down that fat in the old tummy. So you might want to take that with food. Yes. Take the coconut oil with some food or put it in a hot tea and drink it. It's fabulous. So, this is the business. I'm around nine, nine and a half percent body fat. I just ate a big lunch, so I'm a little, you know, but this is me around nine or ten. At the age of 46, I know I don't act like it, but I mean, I have my whole life to act old. Okay, so this is the business, right? I'm able to spare the muscle because my body is not going to a state of gluconeogenesis, which is the breakdown of my amino acids, the protein in my muscles. So that's not happening, because my body's not trying to eat itself because I'm not starving. So, okay, enough of that business. So let's get back to the other business. So, those are my secrets or my um, lovely suggestions to help you get into a state of ketosis. Drink a lot of water, add sodium, add magnesium, and vitamin K into your diet very important so your body is not when it's going through that tr transition because your body is still looking for the glycogen the glucose but it's not there 
and so therefore your body starts to break down ketone bodies and as soon as the carbs are not there your body are already starts to burn ketones but we want to be in a nice humming state of ketosis yes we do yes we do yes we do okay you guys um it's my new place i've got some of my photography up but that's neither here nor there i'm just saying whatever's um anything else yes 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 obviously my videos are unorganized right now but soon I will be making professional videos things will be more scripted I won't be just off the cuff well I'll always be off the cuff but not this bad okay I've been into a state of ketosis for four years now no starches no sweet fruits I might have lemon or grapefruit that's it yeah mm -mm. and uh, just really realize the nutrient dense vitamins and minerals that come in grass fed beef and the dark meats go read some about some of this lovely stuff it's amazing information people always think that the vitamins come from uh, vegetables they do but it's got your, your body has to get through all that fiber to actually even get the vitamin mineral so check out the Inuit tribe also one of my references I love her to death is Nora Gigaudis that woman is the bomb. Check her out online. She really knows her business. Um, I like to actually show people, I always like to say business, what is that? I like to show people physically the effect of being in a state of ketosis. I cannot run, jump, lunge, or squat because I was a professional skateboarder, blew my knee out, I broke everything in it, 10 surgeries, so I really have this terrible injury and I'm still still able to manage very low body fat percentage at age 46 as well as people have to understand please do not do low fats because your estrogen testosterone progesterone are made out of cholesterol so is our brain and when you take those out of your diet you have issues this is the reason why I'm a spaz <laughs> at 46 all right, um, if you want to know more, you can go to my website, stephanieperson.com, or you can go and follow me on Facebook and actually see the daily posts that I put up, really interacting with a lot of the friends that I have. And um, I can create a nut nutrition program for you. This is just a questionnaire. You can download it from my website. And then I can explain to you the macronutrients that you need to be in a state of ketosis, where to put your fats, how much fat, how many grams of carbohydrates, what type of, I mean, vegetable carbohydrates, and how many grams of protein, what kinds of proteins. Those are the typical questions that people ask me, and I'm just super dorky. <laughs> anyway, um, enough of this stuff. I'm sure you're done with it. I'm sure I'm done with my business. And catch me next time with more amazing information about being in a state of ketosis, borderline paleo, but not really paleo, more like ketogenic diet. Boop! Till next time.